<laughs> What's going on guys? Coach Matt and you go pro baseball. We are here at Zone Sports Academy, beautiful facility in Bridgewater, New Jersey. I'm here with Coach Duke Baxter and Coach Steve Nickarak, and we've got three, the top three infield drills. So if you're a coach or an infielder, check out these drills, really good stuff. What do we got? So we got a couple different ones for you guys today. We do kind of call them our, our daily vitamins. Every single day we go through pick progressions, we go through different footwork drills, and we'll do different variations of each of them. So we're gonna show you three different variations. The first one here is just gonna be, we call it the cone drill, right? And, and Coach Duke's gonna be my, my coach. I am gonna set up a, a cone here on the ground, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my feet up in front. This is a really good one to get your player's feet moving. Um, my feet are gonna be in front of the cone, and what my job is is to take choppy steps and work counterclockwise around the cone. So you'll see a lot of players, they sit back, they wait, they get beat by a bad hop. But to get your players' feet moving and get their rhythm and their timing working through the baseball, a great way to practice that is to go choppy steps counterclockwise, as many as I can, and then when I get to the back of the cone, Coach Duke's gonna roll the ball. My job is to keep working around the cone so that once I hit, my right foot's gonna hit, my left foot's gonna hit, and my feet are gonna be moving towards first base. Again, you see kids, they go through their prep step, they sit and wait as opposed to creating some rhythm. We talk about left foot timing all, all the time. And what that means is as I field it, my left foot's rolling into the ground as I'm fielding the baseball and you'll see my feet never stop. So we'll do a full speed here. I'm gonna start in front, counterclockwise. I'm gonna work around the cones, set my feet. But notice I'm working on that left foot timing right here. So I'm fielding that baseball inside my left foot and all my momentum and energy is taking me towards first base right there. That's a great drill. What age would you say you could start using this drill? And obviously this is a drill you can use all the way up into, into pro baseball. Yeah, I mean, we do it from eight to college. Yeah, every I age. It. I love it, I love it. So what else you got? That was drill number one. What do we got for drill number two, infield drill? So in this drill, we call this the line drill. So you see a line on the ground. We're gonna right now use the foul line at third, and we're gonna line up baseballs. We take three steps and we put a baseball, three steps, three steps, so it's far enough away to get us to be able to go around the baseball and to be able to field it. Now, I like to, we like to use the line because of the fact and due to the colors as I say this, we want to stay out away from the green and stay in the red. So we're in a straight line, but as the ball's coming to us, it's like a laser beam. You want to get out of the way of the baseball and then you want to bring it back and come back through so you're teaching them how to work around the baseball and then back through. They're not doing this. But you see so many kids, they get straight in line. They can't read the hops. They can't read the velocity of the ball. But as soon as I take a small step to my right, now all of a sudden I can see the hops. I can see the velocity. And now I'm choosing which ball I want to field. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get into a line. I'm going to go first. And you're going to watch what we're going to do. So we're not going to shuffle to throw. We're just going to get ourselves into a position to field. I'm getting out of the way, boom. I'm getting out of the way, boom. I'm getting out of the way, boom, and I hop around. Coach Steve goes and Coach Madden goes. So it's a really good drill to get your kids to just get their body moving, get in the flow. You're keeping their feet moving. You're teaching them how to get around the baseball and work through. You can line up all 12 kids in a row, 12 baseballs, and they just whew, whew, whew. They'll get a sweat going in one minute and they're getting a ton of repetitions in just by seeing the ball and you're making sure and fixing their position and making sure their back's flat and making sure their, their timing's good. So that's a great drill, we love it. I love that drill. And one thing that you said really stood out to me is when you get around the ball like that, you're able to see the hops better and have better timing with it. I learned this from coach Chris Marlowe. He, sh he showed me the balls on the camera like this. When you're looking at it straight, if you come on the ball straight, it's hard to see, right? It's hard to have depth perception there. But when you come at it on an angle, now you can see a lot more. You have better depth perception. You can see the ball better. You can have better timing. Just that's a, And that's a great drill to work on that. I love it. Because so many guys make errors on the routine ball. It's hit right to them. So it's already coming at them. So they kind of stop, get on their heels, and now the ball plays them opposed to you taking that small step and now you playing the baseball. I love it. So that's number two infield drill. What do you got for number three infield drill? We're going to spice that drill up with an actual rolled ball now. So Coach Steve's going to get on the line. I'm going to take the baseball. I'm going to roll it down the line and you're going to see him actually doing the real footwork. 
So it's, a, it's the advanced version of that drill. Gotcha. So what we're gonna do now is I have three baseballs. Right now he's gonna work on getting around the ball, fielding it, and I'm gonna roll the ball straight on the line. So we're gonna, we're advancing that last drill. So I'm gonna roll it. He's gonna pop it, I'm gonna roll it. Notice how every time he gets his body to the side of the baseball. He fields it and then he fires his feet really quick to get out of the line. I call it the line of fire. Get out of the line of fire and then work back through. Don't stay in the line of fire. I love that, I love that. Now what do we got for infield drill number three? Infield drill number three. We call it the box drill. Usually we put four, eight, 12 guys on there. But since there's three of us, we're gonna call it the triangle drill. And we're gonna work on all of our flips, our palm up flips, all our double play flips, and then all of our different arm slot throws. So really, like everyone talks about with practice play, you're not just throwing, you know, you're actually working on different things. You can work on tags, you can work on relays. So in our box drill, we work on all the different feeds and throws that we're gonna possibly make in the game all in one routine. So here we go, what we're gonna do is we actually, we put cones down and that's where the players are gonna go. We always give as many visuals as we possibly can. So we're all gonna go to a cone. We're gonna work to our left right now. So we're gonna work to our, our left. Coach Steve's gonna toss the ball to me. I'm gonna drop the baseball. I'm gonna make sure my front foot is pointing to Coach Madden. I'm gonna push off my right. I'm gonna palm up flip. And this is simulating a shortstop flipping to the second baseman or a pitcher that gets the ball flipping it to first or a first baseman flipping it to a pitcher like all the different positions so i'm going to get the ball drop it my left foot i'm going to boom we're going to flip it and he's coach is just going to go ahead and flip to his left and then coach steve's going to drop and then flip to his left so that's just the first phase now we're going to pretend that we're actual second baseman flipping to the shortstop. So now we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna simulate a ball hit right to us. So it's a palm up flip, nice and easy. We're just gonna kind of lay it up like popcorn and finish it off. So now we're gonna face the person to our left. Drop, turn, and flip. Boom, boom. The next drill is the power flip. The power flip from second base. We're gonna dart our fingertips. Our fingers are gonna dart at our partner. This is gonna have a little bit more mustard on it. This is the ball that's taking us away a little bit and we're coming back hard and we're darting it right to his chest. So I'm gonna drop, push off, and go. We're getting our power from our left leg on this. Our left leg is pushing off. We're staying low and our fingers are darting straight out ahead, boom. Boom. I bet. Boom. Nice. Perfect. Now we're going to work on our actual throws. So we're going to work on that, that pivot from second base. Once I receive the ball, some guys like to go on a knee. We're just going to talk about drop stepping our right, our right foot a tiny bit. We're going to roll into our hip. Boom. Some guys like to actually take a step back. There's many different ways of doing it. You're gonna see me just kind of rolling on my hips. So I'm just gonna feel. And we're just gonna turn. We're just turning right into our right hip. Oh. Nice. The other key that you wanna to try to do is we wanna make sure this ball is going uphill. So many times guys will get on top of it and spike it down. Okay, so you don't wanna see this downward action. You wanna to try to make sure that that ball's going up right to his chest, Boing. nice, nice. And now we'll work the other way. Now we're gonna to work to our left. Okay, now we're shortstop, speeding the second baseman. So I'm facing my partner, my left leg's gonna be back a tiny bit. I'm gonna field, and I'm just going right into my throw. Nice. Good. And now we're gonna work on the slow roller. So we're gonna lift up our left leg, Balance on our right hip, and we're gonna slingshot it from down below. So my left leg's gonna come up. I'm gonna field. And it's almost like that on the run. Nice. It's like that on the run throw. You can make it a little bit more challenging by dropping it and doing the same 
same work, so it drops, left, right, boom. Drops, left, right, boom. So that's just a good way of kind of working in all the flips, all the throws, and then we always finish it off with a really close glow flips. You never know when you're gonna need it, maybe once a season. Once a year, you might need to toss it from your glove, but we always practice everything. We want everything to look like we've done it before. So here it is, boom, right in our glove. We're just gonna catch and toss. And we're just trying to catch the ball. We're trying to toss that baby straight to our partner. Boom, boom, nice. So it's just getting your players to get used to the glove, the different arm slots, the different flips. And that's usually a three, four, five minute little warm up routine that it gets to work on everything. I love it. Do you let them have a little bit of range with it where they can kind of play with, you know, how far they're going back or how far their arms coming out or even with the gloves, like maybe working backhand with the glove. Do you let them give them some freedom there? A hundred percent. We love when they're athletes, right? There's, we always say, listen, we're going to show you certain things with certain parameters, but there's going to be plays where there's things that we don't even practice that are going to happen. Yeah, I mean, we, we work on divers. We work on backhand glove flips throwing on the run as infielders you got to be able to throw from here 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 sometimes down there so just getting used to making uncomfortable plays this I, way when it, when it does happen in the game you're ready to do it. that's a great point i the way i like to think about it my pitcher brain by the right, way right is uh you know it's almost like a basketball court or a basketball game you're never taking the same shot on a basketball court same thing with fielding the ball you know if you're just practicing balls right at you stepping and throwing the first when you get in the game you're going to be surprised because you're going to have balls where you're off balance back here you got to make all kinds of crazy different throws so working on that having a little fun is going to help you in the long run i think you know what coach that leads us to one of our favorite drills that really hit fire about two years ago we called it the bad hop drill i think there's no better time to to re-bring that out of the box than for right now so Hold on one second while I get the PVC Let's do it. top four infield drills. Let's go. So here we go. The bad hop drill right here. We have a PVC pipe. This one doesn't have rice in it. Usually we put rice in it and we cap the side so it doesn't really move around too much. This one might move around a little bit, but we're just going to roll balls. We just got smush balls. We don't have hard balls, so you can't get, take one in the eye. We're using softy balls. All right, we're gonna roll them. Coach Steve's gonna see the ball. He's gonna catch the ball. He has no idea what's gonna happen. I can also roll some that don't even hit the PVC pipe. That's like a real ground ball, okay? Some of them might hit the cones. You can use anything and everything. This is a really fun drill. So you're just rolling. Boom, it pops up out of nowhere. And you gotta, that one stayed on the ground. There's another popper. Boom, oh, there, there you go. One hand and go get it. This time we're gonna go off to the left side. Oh, that one didn't go anywhere. Nice. There, there you go again. You can take them and now they're not hitting at all. Boom, let's see if we can get a double decker. Oh, there's a double decker. That one was off the red, the orange, the oof. So, this is just a really fun drill for the kids. Again, it gets them to attack. You saw the ball that, that hit the PVC pipe and kind of stopped. Coach Steve attacked the ball. Some of them didn't hit the PVC pipe at all, and some just took crazy bounces. So that's just a fun drill to, to, again, like Steve said, you're putting the unpredictability in the game, right? Not every ground ball is the same. Like you said, all of a sudden, everything looks so pretty and perfect. Next thing you know, wham, it hits something and shoots up. Like, you got to adjust, not say, oh, well, it took a bad hop. Well, okay, you still got to make the play still, you know, so. I love it. Those four infield drills are awesome, fun. Uh, you know, something unique that you can add into your practice plan that are going to keep the guys interested and moving and getting better. That's what it's all about. I sell the smush balls actually on my website, yougoprobaseball.com. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in getting that. I got one more question for you guys. What do you guys think about like training gloves? The reason I ask you is I see your, your Valley training glove bag over there. So uh, this is a Valley training glove. I also yes. sell these on my website. But what do you think about infielders using different gloves and how does that help them or does it not help them? What do, what's your response? We have a whole entire bag full of them, all different types, the small ones, the bigger size. We have the pancake glove. I call the other one the claw because I, we feel that certain drills are better with, you know, the pancake glove is, you know, you're working on your hands, right? You're working on the two. Then the claw allows you to squeeze a little bit, so, but it still has a really small pocket. So you're, you know, you're working your hands. Then you have the regular glove that you can field real ground ball. Like we love them. We use them all the time in all different types of catchers, turning double plays, pick series, progression. So we love them. We love them. That's awesome. Guys, if you're interested, if you're a coach, you're coaching at any level, I want you to go check out 
Dominate the Diamond. It's a video course. Uh, it's got tons and tons of information in there that's gonna help you be a better coach. All age levels, I'll leave the link down below, Dominate the Diamond. Check it out, these guys put tons and tons of great video content. This is just a fraction of some of the stuff that you're gonna see in there. So go check it out, link down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll check you guys in the next video. Leave a comment if you got any questions. Talk to you then.